Hello and welcome to Nova Fabtech series. Today we will be supporting a bungle with approximate height of 70 mm. I am Mark, your tech instructor for this series. So let's begin. So first thing we need to do is to import the bungle in Rhino. So I will go to file, import, and then select the bungle. Hit open. Here is our model. So as you see, it's a big bungle. Let's check the model. It's not yet uh, joined. So we need to make it join. What we need to do is highlight the whole model or press Ctrl A on the keyboard and then type join. Now it's joined. So also, as you see, it's not properly aligned. Let's align it. Type align. Concentric and then zero so it will stay on the zero axis now it's aligned go to front view and also it was already aligned before so it's three millimeters up so we can proceed to putting the supports as always you need to check with plane so go to top view corner to corner plane drag to cover the whole model and then go to perspective view i normally suggest you use the shaded mode so that you can see clearly the, the first layer so i will drag it up this is our first layer and then continue up clearly there's no falling part on this model firstly we will put supports on this part the next thing we will do is put a casting way on the middle which will act also as a support and then we will connect that middle part to the model with supports let's go to bottom view and then type bell support in this part we will use one point bell support choose the mesh and then select one point check the radius so i suggest on this part we will use 0.35 millimeter for the radius see it's good we will start from here and then go around the model up to here make sure your mod your support is two millimeters away from each other when you see it's red it's bad the distance is too short and when you see it's blue the distance will be too long so let's stick with two millimeters you don't need to be exact just make sure that the supports are two millimeters away from each other okay Also, uh, take note that the 2 millimeters away will keep you from bending the surface. The more you put the distance, the more it's bending. Okay, almost done. And also take note, if you see the model is proportion, you can just put the supports on the half and then mirror the other half okay so it's done we already put supports around on the bottom part so the bottom part is the most important because uh, from that layer it will stick to the build platform so it needs to be stable i'm going back now to the perspective view so most probably i can delete now the plane because it's uh, no longer used so we will proceed with adding the casting way on the middle part let's go to top view from here i will grab the polyline tool start of line zero go to front view make the length up to here while holding down shift i will drag the line up up to here and then click on the perspective view select the line 
pipe start radius is 0.8 and radius is 0.8 also so that will be the same and then hit enter so from here I will select the pipe and convert it as the mesh so from nerves object hit ok while it's selected hit delete to remove the nerves object I'm going to top drag the pipe only up to here so to mirror the pipe in a round position we will use array polar center of polar zero so number of items I suggest uh, seven or eight since it's round I will use 360 degrees and then enter so from here we will connect our pipes we will be using the circle tool center of circle will be zero drag it up to the size of our round pipes and then click from here also select the circle pipe it again so take note that the radius of our pipes is 0.8 so we can adjust it a bit smaller like 0.6 to 0.7 millimeter so here I will use 0.7 so as you see it's connected delete the circle line go to perspective view and from here we will drag this pipe up firstly convert it to mesh while it's selected hit delete go to front view and I will just drag this uh, round pipe up to the level of the model so from here I will only put here go to perspective view and check so to make copies also of this round pipe we will again use another command called array linear before we proceed with the array linear let's first hide this model and the other support so go to top firstly lock this one select all of them and then hide hide the objects so in perspective view unlock this pipe select all of them and then press enter so from this part select the ring type array linear number of objects 8 press enter first reference point let's go to front view select this area and then drag up okay so since it's moving i will hold down shift to lock it in position and put the ring only up to this part from the tip of the rounded pipes so go back to perspective view now we have the middle support or the middle part for casting unhide the objects show all from this part we will connect this rounded pipes for casting and then connect it to our model let's begin firstly we need to join both of them because we will connect it using bell support so highlight everything and then join now it's joined go back to perspective view let's start connecting the model so bell support choose the mesh and then hit enter from here I will be using two points another type of bell support that connects two points I will change the radius to 0.4 and then start selecting the points I will start from here and then connect to here again here you can also use four viewports for reference in this way 
you will clearly see the points where you can put see if I put here it will be long so from the top view I can see which area I can connect which uh, is also short okay. we have the bottom part now supported next thing I will do is connect another parts from the model to the middle pipe I will not connect from this wire up to the middle because it will break the model but you can also use this area the solid area to connect to the middle part so but now I will not use it I will connect it from here the solid one let's open four viewports for appearance so if you see on the right uh, viewport if I put it here the angle is too bad for casting so what I can suggest you put it with angle going down because it will help you for casting also check for check on the top view which one is better which one is shorter select another one this one be connected here here also here or here So select we can actually resize the viewport so we can see the full angle again let's add here this one here here So lastly, we will put from here to the top. Just like what we did on the bottom part. In this way, the shape will be remain will be retained, okay? Let's add from this wire. And again, here. So basically, I'm also adding the supports, not only to support the model, but also to be used in casting. Okay. So lastly, we will be putting supports on this bottom part because that will be also included on our first layer. Let's zoom in to, uh, on our perspective view. So this ones.
so type bell support I will change the radius to 0.3 and change the type to 1 point so I'll just select these parts next this one so since also it's only for casting there's no need to put more support And there you go. We have supported the bungle with casting way and connectors from the casting way to the model. Last steps, select all the model and join them. Select the model again and then export. Save it as STL. Choose the file name bungle and support hit save and now it's successfully saved let's check the model so here is our model bungle with supports and casting ways thank you and have a nice day